Hi, this is Jack from technologywithintention.com. I'm going to be showing you how to create a marketing list for YouTube videos. This can be used to send uh, YouTube updates directly to students in their email inbox without them having to sign up for any additional accounts or anything like that. I started by visiting Google Apps Marketplace and adding the MailChimp service to my Google Apps for EDU deployment. Once I've done that, from any of my Google interfaces, I have a More button and I can click on MailChimp. This authenticates me with MailChimp using my existing login. Here's the MailChimp dashboard. There's two things I have to do. Step one, I have to create a list with all my students in it. And step two, I need to create a campaign. So step one, adding a list. I'm going to create a list from the List button. It will be an entirely new list. It will be called My Students, and it's from me. My default subject will be homework for tonight. I'll scroll through. I'll ask for an email if people subscribe or unsubscribe. This list should be static. I'm going to enter my students' information, and I'm not going to have other people enter. Uh, I'm not going to have other people signing up. So this is just a security measure. I'm going to hit save, and now I've got a new list called My Students to import students. Um, and to do so, I can actually just use an Excel spreadsheet, um, or I can connect to a bunch of other services. For the purposes of this public demonstration, I'll be using a different list. Uh, but that's all there is to creating a list. Step two is to create a campaign. Now the goal of this campaign is every time I post a video to YouTube, I want that RSS feed to be scraped by MailChimp, and I want an email sent to my students telling them that the video is there and that their homework assignment is ready to be done. So to do so, I will create a campaign. And this, as I mentioned, is an RSS-driven campaign. Now, if you're reading the blog post that this is probably connected to, you need an RSS feed URL. And for YouTube, that is actually hidden. I've got the formula for creating your own YouTube RSS feed in the blog post itself. I will paste it into the feed URL and I will have this email sent to my students every day at 3 p.m. Half an hour before school is over they'll receive an email with a link to tonight's homework assignment. So now that my feed is happy and it's set up to send every day I've got a new video. I'll click on next. I'm going to select my list of students that I'm sending to. I will be sending to the entire list. I'm going to name my campaign homework for tonight RSS YouTube I've got a default subject I've got my name I've got an email if the student has any questions they can email me directly I'm gonna be tracking clicks and opens I want to know who's doing this who's using the resources I'm creating I'm gonna click next and I can spend all day choosing a layout if I'd like for the purposes of this demonstration I'll go with a basic template looks something like this and I can edit and customize this as I see fit I can change the color scheme using the themes down the side I'm going to remove a lot of the content because this is just for students I don't need them following me on Twitter really the only important part of this email is the part that delivers the unique RSS content I'm gonna put that right here in the center of my email so I'm clicking edit email and I'm going to remove everything that's here homework for tonight okay so that will show up in every email now I need the unique portion I need the RSS merge tag reference to figure out what information I'm going to put. So I'll start with the title. This will pull from my RSS feed. And then I really want the complete content. I'm going to use the content in full with HTML formatting if possible um, because that will show up nicely. I'm saving the changes that I've made. You can see there's some variables, things that change based on the RSS feed and I've got some static text here at the top. Time to test. 
This will actually go to YouTube, pull the RSS feed, and show me the latest version. This is the email my students will receive from MailChimp every time I upload a video. Of course, the part with the video in it changes. I like it, so I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next step. Now, this portion is for plain text emails. This doesn't pertain to me because I'm using Gmail, Google Apps for Education for all my students. So I can safely ignore this and just skip through to the next section. Now I've got an overview. I've got my RSS feed set up correctly. It's green. My list is empty, so it's red. Once I add my students, this will populate and it will be green. Subject line is good to go. Replies come to me. I'm tracking who opens the email. I've got the template set up. I can ignore the plain text email and everything looks ready to go. When I hit save and exit, if my list were populated, I would see that my homework for tonight RSS YouTube feed is active. I'll show you an example of that. Here is a blog update that sends every day at 8 p.m. when new posts are added. That's all there is to it. Here's an example of an email I actually received in my email inbox from MailChimp. This is a different assignment, of course, uh, but here's the video, and when I click, it will take me directly to the YouTube page where there can be more information if necessary. Last cool feature is to take a look at the campaigns and how they're running. So here is a previous YouTube feed campaign that I sent on December 1st. I can view a full report. That report tells me how many people opened the video, how many people did not open the video, how many clicks were made. I can drill down to the opens and figure out that it was me that opened it. So if you imagine you have a list of 30 students, 50 students, you can see who actually opened the video. You also have a quick member rating here. You can see how often, generally speaking, people open the email. Five stars means a student opens every email. One star means they have not opened the email. So this is a quick way to figure out who actually clicked through to see the video. And this MailChimp report combined with interactive markers in YouTube using annotations combined with Google Forms to test for post video comprehension add up to a fairly complete data set that I can use in my classroom and outside of my classroom to help my students learn.